I am Tuomas Lähde. I'm an orthopedic and trauma surgeon at the Helsinki University Hospital in Helsinki, Finland. I'm talking to you about our JBJS article, Outcomes at a mean of 13 years after proximal humeral fracture during adolescence. This was a retrospective study to investigate the primary treatment episodes and the long-term outcomes of proximal humerus fractures in the population where the benefit of surgery was uncertain. We did have a randomized controlled trial comparing surgery versus non-surgical treatment in mind, but we first wanted to know the outcomes of the patient population. Uh, but as we progressed through the patient file review, a pattern of very good outcomes emerged. I still remember sitting in the basement of the hospital going through the hundredth or so patient file and thinking that these really all seemed to heal very well. For me that was a bit of a surprise uh, as my background was, was from the adult fracture population where uh, there is usually some kind of a long-term impairment. So we thought that we need to find out as well as possible if our impression was true and we expanded the methods to include propensity matching uh, and also a telephone interview for patients who were unwilling or lived far away uh, to come uh, to the research visit. Now, one of the major difficulties uh, in the study was uh, contacting the patients and our research nurse, thank you Lena, uh, spent quite a lot of time uh, looking for the contact details and contacting the patients. Our main, main findings of rapid and very good re recovery uh, and no benefit of surgery in the propensity matching uh, suggest uh, that um, practitioners should be doing less surgeries, not more as the trend has been lately. Also, we had an intriguing finding that the patients had a better quality of life <coughs> than their uh, norm normal population uh, comparators um, and combined with the fact that many of the injuries were a result of relatively expensive sports, we think that the social uh, determinants of health should be further looked into as the socioeconomic status of the families might explain the difference. But to a bit of our dis disappointment, the randomized trial on proximal humerus fractures in adolescents doesn't seem very effort effective nor feasible to be honest.